is check which of the following are solutions of the equation x minus 2y equals to 4 and which are not. That means now in the question you might have seen four questions, sub questions are there. It means solutions are given. That solutions x value and y value we will put in this particular equation and we will check left hand side value is it equal to right hand side value. Equation equals to sign is given means what? Left hand side value must be equal to right hand side value. X and Y values are given in the following conditions. That means we will put those values of X and Y in this particular equation and check whether left hand side value is equal to right hand side value. If it is coming same, then it is true. If it is not coming same means it is not the solution for this particular linear equation. We are understood children. Now let us see the first question, first part of it. That is point is 0 comma 2. That means first one is x value and what is the second y value? 2. So in this what is that? x equals to 0 and y equals to 2. Now these values we will put in this linear equation and check whether left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. Now in the linear equation, what is our linear equation? That is x minus 2y equals to 4. Now LHS equals to what? LHS equals to x minus 2y. Now put the value of x. What is the x value? 0 minus 2 into what is y value? 2. So now 0 minus 2 to the 4. So equals to minus 4. Now you can match with the RHS. Is the RHS value same? Here it is positive 4. Here it is negative 4. So you can write which is not equals to RHS. That means it is, it is not true. Not true means what? You can write hands, hands. 0 comma 2 is, is not a solution, solution for the linear equation, linear equation, what is the linear equation? x minus 2y equals to 4. Okay, clear. Likewise, the second one you can go for it. Second part of the same question is that is third second part is that is 2 comma 0. That means in this case what is the x value x equals to 2 and y is what 0. What was our linear equation? Linear equation was what? Linear equation was x x minus 2y equals to 4. Clear? Now put the values of x and y and see whether LHS is equals to RHS or not. You can write LHS equals to what is x value? 2 minus 2 into 0 which is equals to what? 2 minus 0 equals to 2. Now this RHS is 2. But here what is given in the RHS? Here 4. So is that equal? So you can write here not. You can see the result is 2 here. This is our RHS we got. But actual RHS given is what? 4. So are, is these two numbers matching with each other? Are they same? No. So that is why not equals to RHS. Means it is not true. Means you can write hands, hands, 2 comma 0 is not a solution, solution for the linear equation x minus 2y equals to 4. Okay, now the third one is what? Third point is. 4 comma 0. 
Okay, so here x value is what? X is for first one is x, second one value is y. So y equals to what? Zero. What is our linear equation? Linear equation is what? X minus two y equals to four. Now LHS will be what? LHS equals to x minus two y. Now put the values. X is what? Four minus two into zero, which is equals to what? Four minus zero equals to four, which is you can see compare here this four and RHS also what? We are getting four. Are they same? Yes. So you can write equals to RHS. So you can write it is true. That is hence, hence four comma zero is a solution. Solution for the for the above linear equation. Okay, clear. Now fourth one is fourth one is root two comma four root two. Okay, so now here x value is what root two and y value is four root two. Okay, now put these values in the above linear equation. What is the linear equation? X minus two y equals to four. This is the linear equation. Now L H S equals to what? X minus two y. Now put the values. What is it? X is root two minus two into four. Root two. Okay. Now, after putting the values of x and y, what we got? This. So root two minus four to the eight root two, which is equals to minus seven root two, which is not equals to RHS because our RHS is what four. So is it equal to four? No. We can write here eight is not true. Last one then, right? Hence, uh, root two comma four root two is not a solution. Solution for the linear equation. Okay. Now the fifth one and the last one is one comma one. One comma one. So now here you can see what is x value? That is x equals to one and y equals to what? One. What is our linear equation? So linear equation x minus two y equals to four. So now we will put the value of x and y in the LHS sign. So L H S equals to x minus two y. Now equals to what is x value? One. So one minus two into one. If I put and simplify, what I'll get? One minus two, which is equals to minus one. Now here I got answer as minus one. But what is my R H S? Four. So which is not equals to R H S. So that means it is it is not true. So that hence one comma one is not a solution for the above linear equation. Fourth question is find the value of k if x equals to two and y equals to one. So here value of x and y is given directly, not in the proof. Uh, form of points. Okay, directly the value of x and y is given. Is a solution for the equation. Is a solution means what? Left hand side must be equal to right hand side. Left hand side must be equal to right hand side because it is given that these two values are the solutions for this linear equation. Understood? Means x value 
directly you will put here and y value you will put here so that you will get the value of k. You have to find the value of k only in the question. Okay, now solution will be what? Solution. Okay. Now here, solution will be x equals to what? 2 and y equals to 1. Putting these values, putting these values, values in the, in the above linear equation. What is the linear equation? You can see 2x plus 3y equals to k. Okay. Now put the values 2 into what is the value of x? 2 plus 3 into what is the value of y? Equals to k. Implies 2 into 2 is 4 plus 3 into 1 will be 3 equals to k. Implies 7 equals to k. Implies k equals to 7. So now what is the value of a k we got? Value of k is 7. You can write thus, thus the value of k equals to 7. Answer. Understood? So likewise, two questions I am giving you as homework. Two homework questions. The question is if x equals to 2k minus 1 and y equals to k. Is the solutions for the given equation? What is that linear equation? 3x minus 5y minus 7 equals to 0. Then find the value of k. So here x value is given as 2k minus 1 and y value is given as k. Now put the values of x and y and simplify and get the value of k. Okay. Now next question that is if x equals to 3 and y equals to 4. Means x value is 3 and y value is 4. Is a solution for the given equation. What is that? 5x minus 5y, 3y equals to k. So now x value you put it there as 3 and y value as 4. And simplify and get the value for k. You have to find the value of k. Okay, understood? The question is clear to you. x and y values are given to you in both the cases. Put those values in the linear equation and get the value of k. Okay. Solve these questions as homework. Next question is, if the work done by a body on application of a constant force is directly proportional to the distance travelled by the body, express this in the form of an equation in two variables and draw the graph of the same by taking the constant force as 5 units. Means first the constant force F you will be taking as 5 units. Okay. Also read from the graph the work done when the distance travelled by the body is 2 units and second one is 0 units. Okay. Now let us take the solution. Let, let W be the work done. We have to show the figure that means symbols now which one is work done, which one is force and which is distance traveled. That's why we write let W be the work done, S be the distance traveled, distance traveled, and F be the force. Okay. That be the force. So according to question what is given? According to question work done is directly proportional to S that is distance travelled. It is given in the question. So with a constant force it is given also it is a, having a constant force. So implies W equals to F into S. Okay equals to f into s where f is constant here what is that 5 units 
it is given in the question. So here you can write here F is the arbitrary arbitrary constant. According to question, it is given arbitrary constant, which is given as how much? Which is given as given as five units. So I can write implies W equals to five S because here F is constant. That is five. Clear? It will be five S. So this is my linear equation. Okay. The linear equation where this is one variable, W is a variable, S is a variable. Okay, it is always not in the form of X and Y. Variables can be W and S also. Clear? So here the variable is W and S. Okay, so now this is the linear equation. You can write here linear required, required linear equation. Got it? This is the linear equation. Now based on this is the linear equation we got. Now here in the form of x and y also we can change. That is let s equals to uh, s equals to x and w equals to y. Okay. Likewise we can take and then form the table. Okay, so here x and y, or you can write what? Here s and here w. Okay, so now assume let x or s equals to 0. If s is 0, what will be w? That is 5 into 0 will be equals to 0. That means 0, 0 will be one of the solution. So here 0 and 0 will come. Okay. Now next, let s equals to 2. If I take the value s equals to 2, what will be my w? So 5 into 2 equals to 10. So now s is x. So what x value will come first? So 2 and 10 will be one of the solutions. So here in the box I can write 2 and 10. Then let x equals to or s equals to minus 1. If I take here minus 1, what will be w? So it will be 5 into minus 1. So which will be equals to minus 5. So what will be the s value? Minus 1 and then w will be minus 5. So this will be one of the points. So that is minus 1 and minus 5. Now with these three values, we are going to plot the graph. Now draw a line. We need to have here 10 y value. So we'll make it little big one. Okay. Here. This is center 0. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 6 also you can take. Here also minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. And here minus 1, minus 2, minus now see the points. Okay. See the points here. First one, what is that? 0, 0. Okay. So this is 0, 0. So origin, 0, 0. After that, what is the next point? 2 and 10. So when x is 2, positive. Y is what? 10. Means here you will go straight up. Okay. So this will be what? 2, comma, 10 point. After that, minus 1, minus 5. So here you can see up to 3 I did. So here minus 4 and minus 5 also I will, I will mark it out. Now minus 1 means here and here. So it will come as here. Okay. So you can, you can write minus 1, minus 
five is a point. Now passing through this a big line. Passing through this. Okay. So the, like this, the graph will be plotted. And now this equation for this line will be what? Linear equation will be that is w equals to 5s. Or, or you can write x equals to w is what? y. So y equals to 5x. Okay. So this is the solution for this.